Hello everyone and welcome back to Deciphering Weather. In today's video, we're going to go over University of Pennsylvania's 2024 Atlantic hurricane season and the record-breaking number of storms they are predicting. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So University of Pennsylvania, back on April 24th last month, came out with their 2024 Atlantic hurricane season prediction forecast, and they are predicting a record-breaking 33 named storms for the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season. That would be the highest ever if it was to come true. So what is their forecast entailing? How did they come up with it? So let's take a look. Now, the, their website didn't go into much detail, but basically it's a statistical model that they're using. And the main components that they are contributing this record-breaking season is the above average sea surface temperature and the forecasted La Nina that's supposed to occur later this year. And we've all seen the record warmth in the Atlantic that's continued from last season. There's been some anomalies here and there where the main development regions cooled down a little bit, especially recently because we've seen some Saharan dust plumes come off the coast of Africa. But overall, the Atlantic, even today, is still well above average for this time of year. If we look at the CDAS Atlantic MDR sea surface temperature anomaly, you can see the dips that have occurred recently, and we're actually in one right now, as we have a Saharan air layer coming of dust plume coming off the coast of Africa, and it's going to be approaching the Caribbean islands this week. But we currently have a temperature that's about 0.85 degrees Celsius above the long-term average in the Atlantic, which is way warmer than it should be this time of year. And it's actually forecasted to get warmer as we get deeper into the hurricane season as you look at the climate forecast system, the CFS climate model. This region is forecasted to be anywhere between 1 and 1.5 and degrees Celsius above the long-term average. And then on top of that, so we have the record warmth in the Atlantic, which provides the fuel for all of our storms and hurricanes to grow, storm, and strengthen. Then you have the La Nina, which is about to um, um, come about in the Pacific. You can see the cool anomalies are really starting to set in currently today in our Nino 3.4 box in area. Current value right now is in neutral Enzo territory, so we're only 0.2 degrees Celsius on average. And you can see from the end of March, beginning of April, it's been steadily decreasing out of El Nino territory into neutral Enzo territory. And that dip is only going to continue as we get into the latter half of spring and the beginning of summer. And by the time we get to the peak of hurricane season of August, September, October, we're expected to be in full-fledged La Nina territory according to the CFS model. Now, if you look at our pro probabilistic Enzo forecast models, we have a just under 60% chance of seeing La Nina occur this coming season during the peak of hurricane season, August, September, October. But we also have about a 35% chance of seeing neutral Enzo occur. So uh, University of Pennsylvania's forecast does take that into account. So let's see what they're all calling for. So, worst case scenario, University of Pennsylvania with the very warm Atlantic sea surface temperatures and full-fledged La Nina kicking in peak hurricane season is calling for an average of 33 named storms. Now, they're not breaking this down into how many hurricanes, how many are only going to be tropical storms or major hurricanes. They're just saying there's going to be 33 named storms, which would completely go through our list of hurricane names and go into the auxiliary list, which we haven't used since they retired the Greek names, and there's a whole new auxiliary list to go through this year. But their range goes from 27 named storms to as high as 39. 
Now, their statistical model, if we are in a neutral Enzo phase, says we could see upwards of 31 named storms, ranging from 25 on the low end to as high as 36 on the high end. And then last but not least, we have University of Pennsylvania's main development region in the Atlantic only being average, not above average, with, La, with weak La Nina conditions. And it's calling for more of an above average season, not a hyperactive season, where we would see 20 named storms ranging from 16 on the low to 25 on the high, which so that takes you just slightly above a normal season of 14.4, as you can see on the top left of your screen, to a borderline hyperactive season with 25 named storms, because that would, again, retire the uh, hurricane list of storm names and still take us into the auxiliary list. So we'll see if this is going to come true or not. They're, they are on the upper echelon of total named storms compared to other forecasts that come out so far this year. Speaking of which, the Ciphering Weather will have their forecast uh, predictions coming out later this week, so be on the lookout for that video. As a reminder, we have super thanks available on the Ciphering Weather, and I'd like to give a shout out to Emily Curtis, who donated $20 to our video last week. Thank you very much for that. And if you would like to donate to the channel and support us for what we're doing here, head over to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you're new and like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.